Ghana has become a model for economic progress across the African continent, invoking pride and belief in African excellence. With unprecedented investment and growth, Ghana stands on the threshold of a prosperous future. Ghanaians are working hard to sustain, consolidate and increase economic gains. To achieve this, however, Ghana needs strong financial institutions. Banks have a very crucial role to play in the economy. There's no question about that. Fidelity Bank, a world-class Ghanaian bank, is up to the task. In 2006, Fidelity became the first bank in Ghana to break even after only six months of operations, earning the Best Growing Bank of the Year award. A new era in banking had arrived, and Fidelity Bank has not looked back since. Fidelity is growing faster than the industry average. In terms of growth, our profit uh, has grown by 400% between 2007 and 2008. Profit growth was around 400%, which is huge. Well, we've started from a low base, but 400% is no mean achievement. In terms of uh, our deposits, we've had a 53% growth in deposits between 2007 and 2008. And year to date, we are doing about 35%. Now, if you analyze it, you know that we're going to do not less than 50% for 2092. So definitely, we, we're quite uh, strong. In terms of the industry, uh, our market share is about 2.5% in terms of deposits. And in terms of assets, we're about 3%. So if you look at the quartiles, we are in the third to second quartile of banks already within this period of three years. And that is quite uh, phenomenal. Fidelity is among the top. 13 banks in Ghana, the top half of banks in Ghana, in terms of assets, in terms of deposits, in terms of profitability, um, in terms of number of customers. Today we have more than 30,000 people who are customers. With 15 branches and counting in Accra, Tema, Takradi and Kumasi, Fidelity Bank has become a force to reckon with, offering innovative products, advice and services to its corporate and retail clients. Fidelity Bank has also financed major development projects in the energy, manufacturing and telecommunications sectors. The bank is a prime example of Ghanaian excellence and its success is the result of a clear vision to become a world-class Ghanaian bank, creating good returns for its clients. The management is also focused on making sure that whoever invests in this bank gets the best of rewards. Passion, hard work and a determination to um, achieve what we set out to do. It's all been about serving its customers in the best way possible. The philosophy is really to exceed our customer expectations. We came into the market after looking at the international standards of banking, the quality of service you get in the UK, in North America, in Europe in general, in South Africa, in other emerging markets and said we need to raise the bar of banking in Ghana. We feel that the customer is keen. It doesn't matter your balance because for us it's not about how much you have. Every customer is important. We make sure that we anticipate the customer's needs, the personalized service and make sure that you don't feel lost in, in the numbers. We are interested in your well-being, we are interested in your business, your, the efficiency of your business and the profitability of your business. So in effect, we are partners with our customers. The understated elegance in the banking halls and offices helps create a pleasurable banking experience and helps enforce the bank's open door policy. Let's hear from the clients themselves. Fidelity Bank helped Atoll Energy finance the installation of modular gas turbines to supplement VRA's energy supply in Tema. They have been quite receptive. They have actually been our partners in this project from the very beginning. They put up the financial package for us. Insurance, bonds, all those financial aids were given to us. MTN Ghana, a major telecommunications network in the country, has benefited immensely from Fidelity Bank services. And we've been very pleased with the bank. Good customer service, good information flows, good follow-up. They've been able to come up with innovative solutions to some of the more complex problems that we have. Fidelity has been very proactive on uh, coming to us with, with solutions to potential problems. Spare parts dealers at Abosokai have found Fidelity Bank's advice and support very helpful. Three months time, I am going to say, I am going to say, I am 
omo my belong fidelity there no kwari on babo so kind omo abo e mu bebere Fidelity is leaving no stone unturned in its quest to provide world-class service to its clients. Through constant research and customer feedback, Fidelity Bank strives to stay one step ahead of its customers' needs. The bank's most important resource is its highly skilled and professional staff. Our secret is in our people. We take our time to choose the best and the most professionally qualified people to join the bank. We are smart, we have a can-do attitude and we have a passion to serve. We look out for possibility thinkers, people who think solutions and who have a positive attitude to business and to life in general. Through competitive remuneration packages, mentoring, training and appropriate award schemes, Fidelity staff remain highly motivated. Our people can stand anywhere, in any boardroom, in any business environment and compete favorably. Fidelity Bank has put in place a state-of-the-art information technology infrastructure, creating a winning formula. We realized that to be a world-class bank, you needed a very strong IT system. We invested strongly in IT, we put in the infrastructure and it is solid. We have good risk management system which makes sure that when you put your money here, you get good rewards and you get good returns on your capital. This allows clients to concentrate on their core business. Our main objective is to create convenience for our clients. We assist our customers to improve their processes by designing very good IT solution that connects to our backend at Fidelity. Fidelity Bank is poised to make a significant difference in Ghana's economy and is gearing up to seize opportunities in Ghana's emerging oil and gas industry. We're looking at attracting and serving those companies and ancillary businesses that would be in the energy and oil sector. As of August 2009, Fidelity Bank has opened 15 branches and plans to increase this to 20 branches by the end of 2009. The bank then plans to add 10 new branches each year over the next three years. Partnering with Ghana Post in its innovative post bank strategy, 200 plus branches are planned. We've been able to attract a lot of customers due to the location of the bank on the post bank premises who didn't know anything about banking services. We've been able to explain to them the benefits and they've been able to open accounts with us. Thus, we have a very huge account base. We have a lot of people coming in and going and transacting more than they usually would have in this locality and in this area. We have excelled in this first trial that we did here in Kumasi, and there's a lot of good feedback from the customers, from people in Kumasi, and as such, we've been able to even open other traditional branches here in Kumasi. The future is bright. Our risk management plan is good, we have a very good strategy. With its strong systems, professional staff, financial strength and determination to create good returns for its customers, Fidelity Bank can look confidently to the future. Fidelity Bank is going to become one of five leading banks in this country in the next three to five years. It's the place to invest because the returns on equity is superior. I believe Fidelity is going places and I'm proud to be a part of it. We want to be the best bank for our customers. We want it to be a best place for our employees. Uh, we want it to be the best bank to invest for our investors. And we want it to be the best benchmark for our regulators. That's our aim, that's our vision. That's what Fidelity is all about, being a world-class international bank. Fidelity Bank is determined to provide good returns to its shareholders and improve the lives of Ghanaians. I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing that we're playing a role in developing Ghana. I think all the profit and all the rest of it is all numbers. It doesn't matter. It's, it's what really happens um, in terms of how you really touch lives. And that gives me more satisfaction than the number of branches we have and all the things that we talk about sometimes.